All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Simic midrange. Uh, we're gonna be playing this in Mythic. Turns out uh, we did a little bit of playing yesterday. We left last night in like 500th spot. Turns out now it looks like we're at 965 with an hour and 27 minutes to go. We want to get in top thousand. There's some kind of qualifier thing that if you get in top thousand, you qualify for. So we're going to, in the last hour and a half here, play some play the Simic midrange deck. Uh, if you're watching the video yesterday from Simic Hydra, we know that we talked about making this deck um, at the end of that video and trying out, you know, trying it out like this. So this will be a new deck that we're trying out here. Uh, loss if we lose. That'll be kind of bad for us because we'll drop out of top thousand. So hopefully we pick up some wins. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> it's a new brew though, so you never know. But that's all right. We're gonna be uh, testing it out. You know, throwing it right to the fire and seeing how it does. Um, yeah. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and get to games. So we can try to get as many as we can in this hour and a half. Lucky, we get to play first. Unlucky, we get to, we have to mulligan. Not get to mulligan. I guess we can think of it that way. We're lucky that we get to mulligan. Yeah, I'll keep the breeding pool. Probably going to need that land. Do you have a percent? That means you're not quite in. So they they only number the top 1,200. And then after that, you get a percentage of like how close you are to the top 1,200. All right, so in case there's like a baffling end, we'll lead with the Incubation Druid. But next turn, going Wild Growth Walker plus Merfolk Branch Walker. Yep, so you're pretty close. Yeah, hour and a half. That's all we got. I think next turn I'm going to be just... I think I'll just activate Incubation Druid next turn, not just play the Krasis yet. Yeah, I think we just adapt Incubation Druid next turn, try to get more mana. I don't, like, have, like, any removal at all game one, so, like, we have to try to go, like, really over the top. Oh, that's awesome, Trog. Yeah, you could probably take it into the meta challenge. Huh. They're more scared of Incubation Druid than Wild Growth Walker. That's weird. Especially just knowing the forest in hand, that we already have another land. That's odd. Looks like it's ended up being a pretty good decision, though. This is three, six, seven, eight, nine. So one more permanent. They turn those on. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Now there's there's some what's the point of being top one thousand? There's some like Rise, qualifying tournament, like a friend. like a mythic champion ship qualifier tournament or something like that that you that you could get to do if you're top thousand. That's what people were just saying. Two 
two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, refill the hand. Oh, right, I forgot about the whole it has vigilance. I haven't played very much Nyssa. Forgot about that part, it having vigilance. So, yeah, I could have attacked for three the last turn. So we call going over the top. That's what we would call that. We just went over the top. They do have a lot of enchantments. We could play these crushing canopies for set enchantments. Entrancing melody. It's got to be good. Alright, you'll doubt that they'll have an set. Anyway, thanks, Jelly. Thanks for the cheers. Um, I don't know. I kind of like our, our main deck. I don't know. What what would I take out for these two melodies? I'm guessing, like, maybe the two Vivians. The small Vivian. That is. Is that better? Is, is Entrancing Melody better than a small Vivian? Probably. The big Vivians, I don't know, those do kill the enchantments. So we saw, like, they have a lot of enchantments. Maybe I'm just supposed to be playing all these crushing canopies instead of melodies, honestly. Ah, uh, thanks, Trog. Thanks for the content, loving the channel. Thank you very much. Cheers. I'll play Canopy instead of Melody. Yeah, that Bleeding Heart thing is pretty cool. Whew. What a wild hand. Yeah, the, I mean, you can, you kind of have to build around the, the three mana creature that allows you to proliferate for land drops. Definitely need to build around it. I don't, I wouldn't want it in this deck. Like, I don't think it's better than the three drops that we're playing. Let's just tap any creature. That card's great. Every single creature is CMC 2 or greater. They don't print creatures that are CMC 1 or, le or like less than 2. Just tap any creature.
Hope they don't have a second baffling end over there. Hopefully. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Oh, they have a tribunal. Ugh. So many enchantments. So much enchantment removal. Hooray! They don't have another enchantment removal spell, right? Or yeah, like a There's no way they have another one, right? <laughs> Ugh. Come on. All right, good. Deckmaster's working on the War of the Spark. Very nice. That's a card I wanted to find. Definitely considering attacking. I think I can win this race. Thank you, thank you, Shock. Never mind. Bad attack. I regret it. Raya Vale, our first sub of the day. Thank you so much for bringing the hype in here, Raya Vale. My favorite brew so far. Um, I liked the Gruel deck that we played. We've been playing recently. I like that deck quite a bit. I'm pretty interested in this one too that we're trying out here. I could see this deck doing some good stuff for us. Yeah, <laughs> you do the watching ads for bits. Well, thank you. Oh, well, thanks, Riot Vale. First ever sub on Twitch? That is that is really kind. Glad you're enjoying the content. I am planning on making a, a green-white mid-range deck. That's a deck that had some requests for. Maybe even like a, a green-white aggro-ish kind of mid-range? I don't know. We're, we're going to do something with it. I can't imagine my opponents making this attack. There's no way they attack with all those creatures. I wish they would have, but there's no way they do. We need to draw a Planeswalker. Or another Hydra. Uh, a Hydroid Krasis, that is. So we need to draw another Krasis, or a Planeswalker, or a Jade Light Ranger. Any of those. Hey, what's up, Morgan? Yeah, 
The Bioessence inside her is big. Mike's saying that because of my set review. Well, that's always saying that the Hydra is unplayable. I did not give it a good at rating in the set review. They're just attacking with Benelish Marshal? Alright, well, I'll, I'll block it. All right, cool. That's a planeswalker. That would be a planeswalker. All right, so that's it's not the best of planeswalkers, but it's certainly good enough. Well, it'll probably be good enough. We'll see. Let's not make this thing an 11-11 real quick. But kind of a big deal. But yeah, send it on over, Morgan. Check it out. It's getting a, a vigilant 11 11 trample with vigilance. To make a splash. So they need to, like, La Rune Enforcer this Hydra for the rest of the game. Oh no. No, that's a problem. Okay, good draw. Do I want to attack with Incubation Druid and Merfolk Branchwalker? You know, attack with a 3-5 and a 3-2. No. Let's get moving. Correct, you cannot attack with the creature that gets tapped, correct? Alright, we need Hydrocrasis, Nissa, Vivian, Jade Light Ranger. Any of those cards. Not basic forest. It's not looking good for us. I think we're losing this game now. This Law Rune Enforcer being really rough. Of course, the, the four exile spells they had earlier. Also rough. That's so much removal in their deck. Nature flows with vigor. Basically need to draw Hydroicrasis or Vivian here. Hmm. 
<laughs> now our opponent has done a really good job of just drawing exactly four lands because you know this first fort turned into a, a land and just drawing all spells Ugh. they do not break draw exactly four lands last turn Nissa maybe but now this turn I'm still dead to the flyer Maybe, I don't know, last turn we would have just started making, making three threes. Really just need another crisis. Alright, never mind. I'm going to go Melody instead of Crushing Canopy. But as you saw, like, with that kind of game, that's why I have five mana Vivian still in my deck. Because think if we had five mana Vivian where we'd get to be able to look at more cards and everything and really go through the deck. That's how we find more Hydro Crasises, more Jade Lights to trigger Wild Growth and all that kind of stuff. We still have five mana Vivian in here. I don't... I don't know your question. I don't understand your question, Mike. But I'm at... 965, I don't think that's going to be good enough for the top 1,000 in an hour and a half. Because in about an hour ago, I was at like like low 800, and now it's at like 965. So I have to play again. This hand can certainly lose to Mono White. Maybe we will draw a Wild Growth Walker right here. Okay, I'll still take that one. It's definitely the card I always like seeing. Yeah, it ends in like an hour. There's a Wild Growth Walker. Well, I was I left it at 500 last night, but then it just moved to this. I don't get to choose. You know, it just moved down. In our righteous cause. Yeah, last night I, I left it at 500. I believe in you, friend. And I just moved down. I can take it. So I think the play here is just to go Krasis for two, because the Krasis can attack over any blockers. You know, if they have, like, blockers on the ground, we can have a two-power flyer for this Gideon that's going to have two loyalty next turn. And that also allows me to not throw the Wild Growth Walker out and then have the Wild Growth Walker get I baffling ended that. and then first before I get to play it with a Jade Light. Not again. And we still drew the extra cards with the Jade Light anyway, so it's like drawing all those extra cards with a bigger Hydroid Crisis. Okay, I cannot go Nissa plus Hydra this turn. 
Let's just go. Let's get this Nissa on there and start I will protect uh, pumping the this thing up. This world. Harness the elements. Am I just gonna win this race? Maybe. I guess I sit back a turn. Sit back a little bit. Do a little offense, a little defense. Fight on without me. Probably should attack with the Jade Light also. Just in case they're playing like the plus, just in case they're giving, playing like something that like gives their creatures like plus two, plus two, I'm just double blocking those things. You know, I definitely want those things off the battlefield. I'm not going to risk it, even though like they're playing, they, you know, they said oops, like that, that could definitely have been like a, an oops to try to fool me or something. Hydra is a lot better than Galloping Lizrog. The land shall conquer better. you. I'm just gonna sit there with Settle the Wreckage. Gosh, people are crazy. You could, they could just have Settle. People are kind of crazy. Yeah, with the oops tech settle. You never know. charge into darkness a hydro crisis right now would <laughs> we would get so much mana from a hydro crisis that if, if we draw a crisis Should be lethal. All right, well, I guess they're so they're at 12 because they're gonna gain a life. So they could block. Yeah, I guess I guess it's not quite lethal. They just block out. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Oh no, it is. Yeah, it is lethal. 
even if they block out. Yeah, no, this is just lethal because because the crease is trample. Grab to count the the crease is trample. So why not add counters to the forest? Because if the if the land like the forests are more valuable because if they if the forests die, or like the forests add two mana, right? So like they're more valuable. The Hinterland Harbor only adds one mana. The forest adds two mana, so the forest is more valuable as long as we have like the one blue source still. I'm kind of good there, but if our if our lands go away, I'd rather it be the the one mana lands than that. Man, these these rankings are just so volatile. So now it's 340. So I guess I stop right and just wait for 56 minutes now because I can only just go down. So I guess I I think I think I just go to. There you go. Thanks, Morgan. Perfect. All right, so I guess we we're just going to just play a league now to finish off with this. I want to keep playing the deck, of course, and we're, like, you know, doing our YouTube video. Yeah, you get rewarded for being in top 1,000. Thanks, chilling on. Yeah, my favorite deck so far is still Gruul, but this Simic deck has a lot of potential. So I, I guess I'll just go play this through a league here. I wanted to wait till after like the one hour, and you know, I wanted to play the Selesnya tokens first, wait for the after the hour, and then play Simic midrange a bunch in, in ranked. But then our our ranking went down from other people playing. A lot where we had to play a match. You know, we had to get back into that top thousand. So that's what we did. I guess I'll update the stream title now. You can find the tokens list there. So I'll, I'll be playing this deck again in more ranked stuff later. But I guess I just I should just sit there on the that 340 ranking we have. Manissa. I think Rule Warriors is stronger than Jund Warriors. Myself. Ritual Soot would kill three of our creatures, but wouldn't kill the Hydra. End the game quickly. No, this is our only our second match with it. We just played against Mono White, and now we're playing against Grixis. This is our only our second match, which I guess I should label this as one and one now. Or one and no. Um, 
I don't, I don't think there's a best deck in the format after, you know, uh, what has it been, like five days? It's not a best deck in the format yet. Format is, like, when formats are this new, it's still just a lot of people just playing cards they like and, you know, finding, inter like, learning about interactions between different cards. There's not, like, a, a like a real metagame yet. And Moment of Craving is the reason why I, like, played Incubation Druid and adapted immediately and didn't, like, wait to adapt. I'd love to draw Vivian Reed. That's called Grixis, red, black, blue. That is a Grixis deck. Vivian Reed? Ugh. I mean, I'll take a Hydro Crisis also. We have 15 mana. That wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, I'll take a Hydro Crisis. Crisis would just be a draw seven. That's a lot. Here comes Nissa. Our opponent can make some of their lands into fail. three threes. Behold, nature's true Which I guess they can make it a two two and draw a card if they want to with the Soul Diviner. All right, Crisis. Crisis! Draw seven. There we go. That's a lot of cards. Yeah, Soul Diviner could make a saga last forever, yeah. You could keep on going back to, like, first chapter of the saga, make them sack a creature, like, with that Eldritch Reborn. Oh, it's it's not enchantment? Oh, never mind. I thought it was just a permanent. My, my B, so yeah, no, obviously it doesn't work like that then. They kind of need a removal spell for a 14-14 Flying Trample right about now. Kinda. We'll see if they have one. I don't even know how much mana we'll have next turn. It'll be a lot. We tap one Druid, the Island, and the Harbor to cast Nyssa, and then that's 6, 12, 18. Flip that thing. That thing just deals 10 damage. The, is at my the minus 3 deals 10. That's 14. So what's what's their plan here? I don't I don't think they have a plan. Yeah, they don't they don't have a plan. Looks like that's game. Would it after we played Nissa, we were gonna have another 18 mana the next turn. I know what must be done. Yeah, 
It's a removal ability that only deals 10 damage. Come on, it's not even close. It's not even close. You could do that with a, a lightning bolt, and it's still not even good enough. What's up, Bloodbath? Where have I been? I've been here every every day. I, I stream every day. Um, I am on a little earlier right now. My normal stream time is from 3 to 10 Eastern each and every day, uh, which is... Usually in like 45 minutes, like 45 minutes from now. I'm on a little early today so I can go see the Avengers movie tonight. All right, playing against Grixis. Could get rid of Bio Essence Hydra. I usually like against like decks with a lot of removal. I think that's like our card that we cut is Bio Essence Hydra. And move towards, I mean, I like Frilled Mystic. I mean, I, basically, I like Negate. Melody, Harpooner, and Frilled Mystic. I like all those cards. I could see playing any of them. I'll go with Frilled Mystic. Let's do that. I guess Kiora, if we we're taking out that Hydra, we should take out Kiora also, actually. We'll do that and play a couple Harpooners. All right. Uh, they had an Elvis Reborn. That that's how they got Aranissa. Hey, we drew this Vivian. We haven't drawn that card in this deck yet. I love Vivian. Card's so great. Play this. Playing our creatures instant speed. Yes, please. Alone. The ocean surges like I ebb and flow with battle. That's a combo. Every fight makes me stronger. For the fallen. So obviously I want to minus Vivian, but the problem with minusing Vivian is the Soul Diviner could just attack it and kill it. Hey! One drop ripples and grows. So they already have seven cards in hand, so I don't think they're gonna. I don't know why they didn't attack Vivian there. Find a jade light? <laughs> yeah. I've seen puppies whine less than you. Oh, right. It has... I didn't even need to do that. Right, they have flash. Right. I've got that sinking feeling again. Hey, Jester, doing good. Yeah, this Cure Soul Diviner combo has drawn them tons of cards. Ugh, there goes Crisis. So do I throw away this Harpooner to kill the Phoenix to keep my Vivian alive? Or do I just play Jade Light Ranger? The Jade Light Ranger is hidden. They don't know about it. It's a tough call. Ha! 
I've seen worse. Don't mind if I take my octopus for a walk. I love to make a splash. Gosh, this Rekindling Phoenix is so good. I attack Hero with Wild Growth Walker. They block with Phoenix. Their upkeep, they get Phoenix back. They'll draw another card because when every time Kiora, or every time Phoenix re-enters, it does trigger Kiora. I could could harpooner it. Almost attack. I'll match you drop for drop. So yeah, they draw a card for this, but you know, Kiora being at one loyalty means they don't get to continue to soul diviner the Kiora and draw cards that way. This has been a great combination for our opponent. Did I bring an Entrancing Melody? If not, I need to do that. I need to steal this Phoenix. I need Entrancing Melody for Phoenix. Why didn't they block Jade Light? Because if they blocked Jade Light, then Kiora would have died. Blocking the 3-5 allows them to draw an extra card with Rekindling Phoenix. Just a better, it's a better block for him. Why not Harpoon and then attack? Because then I don't have Harpooner for Nicol Bolas. And, and again, they just have their, their Phoenix still. It doesn't really... I, I want to save Harpooner for Nicol Bolas. Harpooner then attack doesn't really get us anywhere. This one's over. Let's do a little bit of sideboarding here. So even if I, it's like stuck. Even if I harpooner the bolus, then the third chapter of Eldritch Reborn gets that back. All right, I'm taking out Wild Growth Walkers also. Sorry, there's a little bit of lag here. Getting melody and manipulation in play. Getting both of those and getting in a gate. Let's do that. All right. Next game. Okay. I like it. You can have Frilled Mystic on turn three. Samuel's good card. I don't. I don't have any in here. I. I could certainly see. You know, like this is. You know, we're at like first. First go with the deck. I could certainly see Tamio Getting in here. What. What do you think that I should play? Like, where should I play Tamio? Like, where. What card should I be taking out for Tamio? Oh, 
Come on. We haven't really done a very good job of, like, you know, drawing our Planeswalkers and stuff. I think I need more Vivians in this deck. There we go. Four, five, six. Good card to draw. Elements. So I'm going with zero because we've you know we've seen them definitely have ritual of soot. So ritual of soot was like a, a card they could have had here. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. 12, so let's draw 6. The land shall conquer you. Draw 7. Or no, it's 14 mana, so that's draw 6, because it's 14 mana means x equals 12. All right, so it's Ritual of Soot or Die for our opponent. They did not draw the land. I bet they they probably had it, but yeah, it would have been fine. Oh yeah, this this deck is sorry. It's on stream decker. I didn't. Did I not uh, update the deckless command? I did not, did I? I, w I went to this deck kind of hastily. There we go. How are we doing on our profile? All right, we're still 346 with 33 minutes. That should be top 1,000, you would think. Number 346 with 30 minutes. Elf Skull, do you... Yeah, so you want to just invest in packs. Do you like playing limited? Like, are you good at sealed, basically? If you're good at sealed, I would recommend just playing a lot of sealed with all your gems and getting a lot of cards that way. Um, if you're, you know, trying to build your collection. If you just want a specific standard deck, then what I'd recommend is see, like, you know, figure out what deck you want, figure out, like, all the cards that you want in your deck, and then look at your deck and look at what sets those cards are in. And then you can buy packs like from those sets to try to open up those cards kind of thing. Phoenix deck, huh? With that being said, I would also recommend buying the last three sets, the all the Ravnica sets, because uh, Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Spark, the, the cards from those sets will be legal and standard, 
until the end of 2020 instead of the end of this year or like the fall of 2020 instead of the fall of this year beasts are much more reliable than humans the cards from the other sets will rotate out this year hey what's up julius yeah simic still doing good we are 2-0, oh. yeah, sorry. i just doing stuff and didn't update that. So Phoenix deck could be tough. Phoenix, Phoenix could give us trouble. Being able to attack our Planeswalkers and everything. Lil Vivi gives our creatures reach. And we can... We could steal phoenixes though. Kind of like the whole steal phoenix idea. Maybe we don't need. Oh! Freelacaf with the gifted subs. Everybody, get your hype boats in the channel. We got 10 new subscribers. Sub train. I do kind of want Bioessence Hydra here in this matchup. I don't know what to take out if I'm bringing these in. Honestly. I kind of feel like it's Nyssa. No, our deck's great. We don't need to board in anything. Hey, we have some other people joining the, the uh, Twitch Prime... Sub Barrage as well, Order of Chaos, Lord Zuzin. Keep getting your hype in the channel for our new subscribers also after these 10 gifted subs as well. So Stone Zero, Saint Pro Jimmy, uh, Diablo Giambe, Johnny Zooms, Milton's Odre. Reading names is tough. Sick Loser, Carpe, Darkness, and Sabaku. Welcome all of y'all. Alright, so that gives us from one sub all the way up to uh, 13 on the day. That sounds right. Yeah, you can have both Vivians on, uh, in play at the same time. Yeah, thanks again, Order of Chaos, Lord Susan, and of course, Friel with all those gifted subs. Thank you all very much. Mamba says, I have a free-to-play account. If I cash in all my wild cards so far, I can make this deck. Would it be advisable? I'm looking for a tier one deck to grind out until next Together, expansion. We'll create great I don't, I don't, I don't think I would go with getting this right now for like your one deck for next expansion for a tier one deck. This deck still needs like some work and everything. It's kind of hard to say that. Um, if if you're if you're trying to yeah if you're a free to play account and you you can basically just get like one one deck and that's going to be your deck, I would kind of wait till like our at least our like first big tournament uh, result comes in, results start coming in to to help you make a, a good Come decision there. Me. We'll just play. We'll just grab this 11-11 trampler. If they want to make some one ones, it's fine. I feel like an 11-11 could be difficult for them to deal with. I 
No, the, Grix the Grixis deck is a pretty good deck to grind and invest in. It's just... What happened here? Well, they made a 7-7 thing? Invade the city. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Just want to make sure that you're getting a a deck you really want kind of thing or like if if you would have the ability to maybe switch decks if you want to, then you know, go for it. I'm gonna play the Vivian. I should probably play this other Hydra though. I should probably play the other Hydra, but I kinda wanna play Vivian. So Vivian would give would give this thing plus three plus three or plus four plus four and give a vigilance. Should I should just get a second one of these on the battlefield first though. Making that thing a little bigger. It's an 8 8 now. I know how to stop you. Whoops. <laughs> that doesn't work. I guess they were thinking they could make one of their tokens into an 8 8 also. But when they make it into the army, the army is just a 0 0 creature. And so they tried to make one of their tokens into the army. But it just made it into a zero zero, so it died. But we're gonna have two very large creatures the next turn. They're both gonna be, I guess, uh, they're at twelve right then. We play the other Vivian to make them sixteens. We take up the Vivian to make them seventeen. We take up the Nissa to make them eighteen. Unless we get to ultimate Nissa, then it's even bigger. But they're gonna be like eighteen, eighteen tramplers. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of donation decks to get to also. I think I'm going to move away from Carnage Car Carnival Carnage in the Grixis deck. Maybe have a couple of counter spells in the main deck. This deck's pretty sweet. I haven't lost with it. We didn't lose with the with the Hydra version last night either. We made some changes to it. Still haven't lost with it, but you know, we're not playing in not playing in ranked right now just because the season's about to end. Hey, Bray, they're doing good. I would likely bring the Gruel deck that we played last night to a tournament if I had to pick a deck. Alright, Jade Light, find our big stuff. I don't know if the new season's going to start right away or not, honestly. I don't know. That's a big thing. I, I'm actually, you know, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with that. If it does start right away, I'll play the Slesnia tokens in ranked after this.
You are chupacabraing the wrong creature there, bud. Wrong one. People just not realize what an incubation turret does, or do they? They're planning on using a removal spell here. All right. I'll go get forest out of my deck. All right. So Krasis is a draw. F Draw two right now, Divination Crisis. Or I could go Branch Walker, wait a couple of turns. Nah, let's just draw two. Hopefully, Chain Crisis or. Yeah, chain Crisis together, hopefully. There we go. Perfect. That was a great draw, too. RNA stands for Ravnica Allegiance, which is one of the sets in Standard. wasn't meant to be contained. Tear it down. Tear it all mm. down. Fortunately, Vivian only hits creatures, so we'll get the land war off there. <clears throat> Man, Vivian's so good. They're gonna like attack this Vivian, and then we're gonna kill all their things. All your things are dead. Masker girl. All right, all right. All right. You got me. I think I have menace. There is wonder in a blade. Oh, it does have menace. I should have. I should have minus two this Vivian and grabbed another creature. Yeah, I should. I should have minus two Vivian there. Well, you can't stop nature. That's the case. I'll just grab. I'll just play the this Vivian because I assume the Masker Girl is going to kill the other Vivian, so we'll just have the other one out. Charnel Troll. <laughs> so we need one more land to get to ten to make the Crisis draw five. Ow. Not bad for a mouse. More trolls. No one knows the wilds like I do. All right, I guess we're not drawing five. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess seven. We could do six and see if we draw a Llanowar Elf. Like with that other mana there. Ooh. Which we actually did here. But I think the seven... Oh no, it's... Come on. Come on. What's going on here? Yeah, you can't regenerate that thing. Every defeat is a new beginning. Um 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hydro crisis is causing a little bit of lag here. Alright, we're down to ten. Let's see if you're worthy. The mysteries of life are endless. So I still have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. So I can play this. Play this. I don't know why I'm doing this sorcery speed. All my stuff's instant. Why am I why am I doing stuff? Let me pass the turn. Alright, so we still have 8 mana. I'm definitely playing the Hydra. Alright, so we can play Hydra and Jade Light, or we can adapt Incubation Druid and play Hydra. I really like this 3 mana Vivian. Against Chupacabra deck, I don't think we need Hydra, and therefore, you know, don't need the Hydra Kiora combo against Chupacabra deck. It's really possible that we just don't even need those cards, but those cards are just make us so good against aggro, especially the the big Hydra. It's just so big; it just wins games against aggro. But then, like these post board games, uh, where there's usually a lot more interaction in the post board games, it's it's like a card that's kind of good to good to board out. So even though I'll board it out a lot, it's it's like a really good game one card. I have not seen a, a Boros Feather deck really yet. Though I rel. Um, I'd say that the Feather decks that I've played against have been kind of disappointing. I thought that it would be better whenever I was doing the set review, but... I don't think that the decks are, you know, really that tuned after just a couple days kind of thing. I don't think they're very well tuned yet, but I have been disappointed in them so far. Well, this hand's really powerful. We're going to keep it. We obviously need a blue source, though. Uh, but with Jade Light Ranger uh, coming down turn three, that should be able to help us find a blue source. Uh... Yeah, my all my decks are on Stream Decker here. The Gruul deck isn't completely up to date. We last night, yesterday we, um, because like it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little old in there. We just made two changes. I think we took out the Chandra and one of the Rhythm of the Wilds from the main deck and added in two Kioras in the main deck yesterday, and I liked that quite a bit. I liked the. Kioras in that deck. Alright, so going with another Incubation Druid to help us get more mana. I, you know, my plan this turn was to play Jade Light, but with drawing the Wild Growth Walker, I'm not going to do that. So hopefully next turn we draw a land and I can go Wild Growth plus Jade Light, hopefully. Oh, I didn't even know there were MTGO 5 0 lists. That doesn't seem like the best, just, you know, 
I mean, they, they have to... Charnel Troll requires you to get rid of something. All right, that thing's pretty big, too. We could really use a land here. Hooray, land. We need the six life. Now, blue mana, please. I think that's a good trade for us. Mm. Hooray! Now all our cards start adding blue. Or all these incubation druids and everything. Hopefully no sweeper over there. I don't even know if I attack, honestly. Basically, if they find another Masker Girl with this arc bow, that would be real rough. But I don't even know if I attack in to a instant speed creature here. Please, no Masker Girl. Anything else? Not Masker Girl. Alright, that's fine. You are chupacabra the wrong thing, Robbie. Alright, so we got three, six, seven, eight. I can, of course, wait and start pumping up these druids. I guess I wait. Yeah, we wait. We can pump up two druids this turn. There's five mana to pump up one, and then we'll have five mana again, because then I'll add three. I don't even know what you do. Oh, right. That card. That card's pretty good. Yeah, you can put one of these things back in your hand. They do not get to put the Chupacabra back in their hand. It's only one that wasn't put into combat this turn. No! Ugh. Wrecked. Wrecked, I tell you. Shouldn't have blocked. Shouldn't have blocked. Man, it's still getting a little laggy again. This has been more laggy match than normal. Does it have to do with like the end of the season, maybe? I don't know.
Uh, no cocaine, I have not. Internet related. Ugh. Okay, they let that happen. I was gonna see if they they arc bowed their instant speed, you know. I like having them arc bow during their turn or you know, like where I can actually melody. Looks like they found something they wanted to to actually cast though, here. God eternal bond to me. Cause five mana. Yoink. I will take this menace creature. Thank you. Um, Omnivious, we've we've tried like a lot of things. It's it's my yeah my internet provider, which is uh, Cox Cable. That's just it fluctuates fluctuates the internet that that I get. I will will hopefully be getting a lot better internet whenever. When I move sometime this summer. Which is something that, that just kind of flares up every now and again. Yeah, yeah, Morgan, I'm planning on moving back. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I plan on moving back. Probably somewhere near like like Fort Worth-ish area. That's why I'm kind of looking at houses right now. A little cheaper than Denton. Yeah. Dude, I missed you too. Something in hopefully like June or July. I think I have to take it. I think it's too. Uh, I think it's too risky not. I think I have to block here. I mean, sorry. I think it's too risky not to block. You know, if I just go to four, I think I may just like lose by something random. Oh, I thought I had. Dang, I thought I had one of the other Vivians in hand. Why is this freezing like this? There we go. I thought I had like another Vivian that was going to be able to kill this Arcbow. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. Let me show you what was lost.
witness the ties so that bind eight mana right now. Three, six, seven, eight. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, I thought I had like the the five mana Vivian to minus and killed the Arc Bow, but I did not. <laughs> he just piloted a Parhelion too with a Masker Girl. I'm gonna let Nissa take this. She'll stay alive. We'll see if we can kill our opponent endure. here, maybe. Oh my gosh, come on. That's going to be a really big crisis. Time to attack. Behold, nature's true power. See if this gets the opponent or not. Here comes their arc bow. See what they got. Please, no masker girl. Just a ferox. I think that should do it. That looks like it will. That was an interesting game. Yeah, well, they wouldn't even win with the Masker Girl. They could stay alive with the Masker Girl, basically. That was a fun one. Alright, we're 3 0 in this league. We're 4 0 overall with the deck. Let's check our profile thing. It ends in less than a minute. It says 357. So we should be good there. I think that'll be top 1,000. Yeah, this deck does use a lot of post Ravnica cards and is pretty strong. Um, yeah, we're still still trying out some stuff. I could see moving away from Kiora and Bio Essence Hydra overall. I like what those cards do with our aggro matchup. <laughs> yeah, I just haven't played limited on here cuz I mean, I just I stream you know, 7 plus hours every single day of standard and I just haven't really wanted to jam limited also. And also considering I have like all the cards, so it's like don't really need a limited for the cards either. Good play over there by the fire god. Good job, Mukton, though. Made it to 99% Mythic with Gruul Midrange. Way to go. If you lay where? Oh, just lay here. Just 
Glaciers. I think I keep them from drawing two cards. I know our Hydra would be a whole lot bigger if Nyssa resolves. But it's not like super likely that Nyssa resolves with... With them having the two mana up. No! The Spell Pierce. Ugh, the Dreaded Spell Pierce. Yeah, they had the, the Dive Down Spell Pierce combination. That's a good one. I deal with this Tempest Gen now, but at least they're, you know, kept them from drawing a whole lot more cards there, you know, like out of card draw. Hey, what's up, Storm? We need to draw another Hydra, uh, Hydra Crisis. Hydra Crisis. No, not Hydra. I didn't mean that. Uh, started to say the wrong thing. So a waste of a counter spell. That card didn't even do anything. No, right, well they had to pull them. <clears throat> All right, harpooners, crushing canopy, melody, negates. Hydra, Kiora, Nissa. I guess I'm taking out Vivian. What else to take out? Maybe Incubation Druid? I gotta keep Druid in to be able to cast these melodies and stuff. I like all these cards. I guess it's Vivian. So 
Sealed should just be available like for a long time. I don't expect it to, to change for a while. Um, it's definitely possible we go to the London Mulligan rule. I, I would say it's more likely yes than no that it changes to London Mulligan rule. Yeah, I'd say more likely less than no. I think that it, it, the thing I'm a little bit worried about the London Mulligan, how you get to just always see, you know, you see seven cards every time, every time you Mulligan. I feel like it's just going to make, it just makes a lot of games just very similar though. And I don't, I don't love that. You know, like there's. Like, if all the games are kind of the same, because you, like, try to mulligan to, like, your... To, like, what... To whatever specific hand. The best... The best thing that I've seen is people talking about a combination of the mulligan rule we have now and the London mulligan. Where, instead of scrying one... Gosh, this card is so good. I can't graveyard it. It's just too good. Even though I don't have lands. It does make my J light bigger than their trickster, which is nice. Um, yeah, kind of a combination of London Mulligan rule and rule that we have now. Like, right now, you know, you look at your 7, you don't like it, you look at... You look at 6 and then scry 1, but instead of doing that, you... You could just look at seven and then put the one at the bottom. That's the London Mulligan, but where it changes with the five card hand, which with five cards, instead of looking at seven and then putting two back, you look at six and put one back. And so you, you basically always put, you, know, you always get to look at the same number as like the scry and you put one down, but it's not with seven cards. It's not look at seven, put two away. It's look at six, put one. I think that's the I think that's the system I would like the most between those cuz that's still allowing the same mulligan to 6 as the London mulligan and I like I like that part of the London mulligan it's it's the multiply with the London mulligan I don't really like I don't have any opinion on a recent cheating incident. I don't have enough information or anything. I wasn't there. Don't like none of that kind of stuff. I'm sure. Uh, like, like yeah. I, I don't have any opinion. Gosh, our hands so good. We draw lands. This hands just too good to pass up. So wham bam, that's that was a rule like at the very beginning was a rule like that. If you that was the only time like when magic first started, that was the only time you could mulligan is like if you had like zero lands or no lands. But then people could design decks around that to <clears throat> to exploit that. Another good play. Land. Oh, come on. Our first two draw steps being negate and melody. Two blue cards. It's awful. If we would have drawn the land here, I would have harpooned the Terramander. I just got to throw this out here now. Right top. 
Probably need some kind of protection here. Hopefully dive down. Wow, those are three awful draws for us with these negates melodies. I think pumped up anyway. Yeah, if we would have just drawn a couple, like, you know, one or two lands, we would have had this. Hand was just too good to pass up on. On the draw, on the play, I would not have been keeping that, but on the draw with us getting that extra card, I would keep that same hand again. Yeah, Victor, uh, Discord is a really good way to send send deck lists. There's some different rooms for that and everything, or you can just send me a direct message on Discord. Um, here's the link to the Discord channel. Oh, I was going to check what the what it said as far as the ranking stuff go. Did it, if anybody is in Arena, did it, like, reset? Is it, like, a new season right now? Did it as a new season? Okay. Well, we'll play the Selesnya tokens and Abzan Citadel. We'll play those in the ranked part for our new season. See that one too much. This game we're drawing all lands. Why couldn't we draw this last game? Yeah, James, I I really love the Quip Toothbrush. It has, um, it's like a soft sonic vibration that, um, yeah, I think it's just just basically perfect. It, um, you know, it was designed by dentists and everything. It has it, it has like a if like when you turn it on after thirty seconds, it'll it'll pulse in like the thirty seconds interval intervals. You know, like you get like one quadrant of your mouth. Like your bottom right, it'll, it'll, it'll pulse after 30 seconds, then you brush the other part and so, you know, it does that. And that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. I believe they may have even an additional sell, sale, sorry, sale like this weekend. Or something I saw. I saw something where they may have an additional sale on the metal toothbrush. So we have nine mana. Do this for seven. Need to attack for that two damage. 
They are going to be very dead the next turn if they don't kill us. But the Kiora pumps the Hydra up 7. Makes it an 11-11. I think I probably should have, should have, I guess I didn't really look there. I, I guess I should have taken that because they had one card left. But yeah, so I've, I've been loving the quip so far. And then, yeah, we had somebody in chat says, I've had the quip for almost 16 months now. Can't recommend it enough. For those of you that are interested in getting a quip toothbrush, um, you know, that's, of course, one of my sponsors here. If you if you do get one of their nice toothbrushes, you do get a free donation deck as well. That's um, something that I'm doing. So if you if you were, like, considering um, donating to see your deck on stream, you have, like, a deck idea, even if you know you have, like, you just want to see a deck built around a couple of cards, if you purchase a Quip toothbrush, you get that for absolutely free. So hopefully y'all will go through the referral link. You also get your first refill for free from Quip as well. It's really nice. As you can see, a lot of people have been buying the Quip Toothbrush. Um, it's been really, really popular, and it's it's kind of weird how um, I, like, look forward to brushing my teeth each and every day now, but I, I do. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird, but it's like, I'm like, ooh, I can go brush my teeth. That sounds great. Uh, well, Vivian could... Hmm. So I want negates. I don't know what I want to take out. That's the thing. I don't... I don't know what I want to take out here, but I want negates. All right, we're taking out Nissa. <laughs> Astrological says they've used one for two plus years, and they're awesome. Yeah, and you get it's like yeah. So every month they you if you. Uh, Get on their subscription thing every month, or sorry, every three months. Every three months, they'll send you a new tube of toothpaste and a new brush head. So you don't have to, like, worry about, like, that's also the dentist recommended time of switching out your brush head. Their toothpaste tube is, like, specifically d designed to uh, last for uh, three months, you know, when you brush twice a day. It shows you how much toothpaste you're supposed to be using on there. Um, gives you like you know diagrams of like how much to use and everything, um, and so you don't have to like worry about like oh is this is my toothbrush getting old all that kind of stuff you don't have to worry about it. They have both. They have a plastic and a metal brush. The plastic one is twenty five uh, for like the whole set, and then the metal one is forty. But it's the last toothbrush you'll ever need. Let's go double branch walker. They're going to just be playing these creatures here. I wanted to play the Incubation Druid first, kind of wait just a tad bit, see if we find, if we found a Wild Growth Walker. Alright, block here. Oh yeah, Kaikulamu, that was something I, I did used to do. I need to change that, because now I do the sub-battle streams. So that's where I just have like the spot for battling is during the sub battle stream. So I need to I need to update that with the tier two sub. So I do not want the land war elf, but I'm going to I went I kept it on top and then put it in the graveyard because I wanted to make sure the Jade Light Ranger is a four three and you know, traded well here with the Viashino Pyromancer. I don't really have explore stuff left.
<laughs> yeah, you you have three pairs of undies. Yeah, they're so comfortable, aren't they? Oh, they're so comfortable. Dude, I, I want these these things that I have that I'm sponsored by, but with MeUndies also, their socks are unbelievable. Their socks are like if you wear if you constantly wear like dress shoes where you are, you know, like in a work environment where you're walking around and everything, it's basically like wearing padded shoes. How thick their socks are. Four, five, six. And I've I've worn a, dozens of different sock companies socks before and they're easily the most comfortable So they can cast like one more risk factor, we'll negate it, and that should be game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> does Miandi send you new ones when you should change them? Uh, kinda, yeah. You so you. You can get up, set up with the subscription service with MeUndies as well to get a new pair every month. And if you do that, it costs 33% less. You know, they, they knock off 33% of their price if you get their subscription thing to get it to get one sent to you every month. And then also if you go through my referral link with MeUndies, you just get another 15% off immediately. So you get you just get 15% off for going through the referral link. So sign up for the subscription, it's 33% off. And then you get another 15% off of that by just going through the referral link there. To, and with, all right, we're five and one here. With them, I'm not doing a, a completely free donation deck with them, but you can get a, you can just spend, if you get, if you make a purchase through MeUndies, you can get a donation deck for just $5. That's my deal that I'm doing with them. Instead of the normal 20, it's usually $20 to get your deck played on stream, but instead you can basically spend the same $20. You get your pair of underwear, um, and then spend an extra five dollars so you can spend less than 20 total by just and get a pair of underwear also uh let's check did i get top thousand it still says less than a minute it said this less than a minute two matches ago right or something close close to that it says 357 so i think that's top thousand all right but we're on the final boss we're four and one in this league oh there we go. I guess I claim rewards now. Mythic tier one. Claim rewards. Five packs. Yay! We finally got the contempt. Hooray! Ah, I'm platinum tier four now. All right, let's bust up on one of the packs. Oh yeah, we need to, we need to crack a pack for getting to the ten subs. Also, I know, I know. Hey, Shabra, that's a great hot, pack. Aren't I? All right, that's the pack for getting to the ten subs, and then here's the pack for Mythic Tier One. There we go. I have not played the Intrusion Point game yet, actually. L pants, I haven't haven't played it yet. All right, four and one. Uh, where's my final boss? Playlist. Here we go. All right, we're going to go back and play ranked here after this now. I just wanted to make sure that that finished up, that we finished up in that top thousand. Um, and now with Selesnya tokens and Abzan Citadel, we'll do ranked with both of those decks after this. I would... I don't believe that they've posted what the new season rewards will be yet, unless if anybody knows that they have, let me know. You know, like post it in here. No, you're good, L pants. I just I haven't 
Uh, I'm good friends with one of the people that um, that designs the game and you know, big support of the stream and stuff. And I am planning on playing it whenever he lets me know. Ah, oh, they did announce it. It's Terramander and Incubation Druid. Ugh, I have to wait that long for Incubation Druid? Ugh, I love Incubation Druid. I should play Forest here. Not Harbor, because of the Nyssa. I don't want them to play another branch walker and have two, three power attackers and kill one of my planeswalkers. Um, obviously, we could make a land be able to block if I would have played the Nyssa. We'll just wait. Alright, so we can go... Three... Four, five, play Nyssa. Play Bioessence Hydra. Make it really big. Have a land to be able to block also. The land fights for us. Yeah, they definitely do need to get basic lands. <laughs> They're going to do Hitchland Harbor in December. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Shekel, Shekel. Yeah, next month, you're going to sub and get a toothbrush? Do it. The card styles this month were Wizards, Lightning, and... Um, Vrasa's Contempt. Alright, so... Two, four, six... So that's eight. Rise, my elemental friend. That's twelve. Or that's ten. Ten, yeah. So I don't need to tap the island. No 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 no! Doing it I want to play the crisis. Let's see if you're worthy. Uh well. Can I just kill my opponent? The wilds are my shield. Wait, so that's seven. Oh, they're at thirty-one. No, I cannot kill my opponent. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, I could still play a crisis for six. I guess. Let's play this thing. Yeah, we definitely still want to attack. I definitely want to play the big races, though. Yeah, because we're definitely attacking because of the cast down. They're just going to be cast downing this Bio Essence Hydra. Ow. Ooh, no attacks? No attacks, huh? Balance comes. Okay, let's see if we can do this correctly this time. Alright, play Kiora. Ah, sun in the sky, brine on my skin. Great day to fight. Be 
wary of the ground you walk on. Dun, dun, dun. Let's get moving. So that's 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 mana. Graces for 14. Draw card. Trigger. Don't forget your triggers. All right. Discard a forest. Discard a forest. I have to discard another thing. I don't want to discard another forest. Uh, I don't really want to discard any of these other cards. No, Branch Walker's good. I think it's either Vivian or Nyssa. I guess I'll get rid of Vivian. Because <clears throat> I assume that they're attacking Nyssa here. Right, and so that I'll want the Vivian. Or I got rid of the Vivian. Because I assume they're attacking the Nyssa. They're not attacking Nyssa. Well. Interesting. They're just gonna let me Nyssa ult. Ah! Strike me, and you they strike to mill me nature. Out? Life cannot be denied! Maybe they're trying to mill me out. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Come on, Arena, you can do it. Together we will prevail. Nature flows with vigor. Meet my newest friend. <sighs> Could mill myself out if I'm not careful. Every fight makes me stronger. Wait, you think nature is kind? The land fights for us. These things all have vigilance, right? Do they not know these are indestructible? Oh, this emblem, lands you control are indestructible. Yeah, we still, we still spent five mana that was only going to be uh, like one each to to get the. To play the Nessa, so we're still good. Damn, damn. 
Yeah, I mean, they could have... So they could have, like, finality. Alright, well, that's gonna gain, gain him a bunch of life. What? How do you not want finality? Yeah, it's not enough mana. I should have killed the land war off instead of the hostage taker. I should have just done that to begin with. Can we do 23 to them? Through five blockers? Probably not. I think I can kill them next turn, though. I'm just keeping this on top because I don't want to mill out. You fight like a city brat. Yeah, a city brat. Behold, nature's true power. We have about 20, 23. I have 23 left. Yeah, so you can only put the counters on a non-creature land, so we couldn't we couldn't continue to put counters on the same land. Yeah, we're going to have a very large instant speed crisis here after, you know, like, not let them hostage take her. A crisis. They'll have, they, could, they could save the contempt for crisis. But if that's the case, then I'll just play multiple crises. Oh, I, I meant to Kiora untap something. Whatever. They should have realized my lands are indestructible. We did that the previous game also. That was a really impressive game for our deck. We'll see if we can get another game through the hostage takers and cast downs and contempts and all that kind of stuff. Play some negates. If I don't play Wild Growth Walker, Wild Growth Walker is just so good on defense. The problem with Frilled Mystic is Hostage Taker. You know, Hostage Taking of Frilled Mystic is. 
kind of nuts. But so I want these negates for find finality. I think both modes of that card are insane here. Uh, we could also counter their Vivians or Contempt. Disdainful Stroke would be a lot better for us in this matchup than Negate would be, because you know, being able to counter Hostage Taker would be really nice. Hey, Pure Poker, welcome back. Which planes and control package have you tried? Uh, I think so far we've just played Grixis Control, I think. I don't know, you can kind of see on the YouTube channel from Thursday was our first day. You can kind of just see like the, the videos from Thursday on what decks we've played so far. Just play this, see if we hit a breeding pool that we just put into play. That's not a breeding pool. I'm gonna want more forest for Nissa. Our home, is our opponent going to hostage taker our island? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, Hadana's climb could do some work here. I, I mean, it's it's great in this matchup. I don't know if you like really need it in a lot of other matchups. This this is like the matchup for Hadana's climb. All right, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Harness the elements. So if their plan is basically if their plan is land finality, I want to have a big threat still on the battlefield. You know if that was their plan. That's what Krasis is. No, you cannot memorial the folly. If your land is indestructible, that does not let you memorial the folly over and over again. No, you sacrifice your land, it still goes away. You can still sacrifice indestructible permanents. Sometimes rest. Uh, let's tear this place apart. I agree. Let's just tear it all apart. Behold, nature's true power. I don't really want my... I don't really want another land to, to die to a finality. That's just something I'm worried about I'll here. I'll be back. Just like before. I think I am going to... Activate the Incubation Druid too. So that it, it will not die from a finality. I didn't live meet my newest friend. Down, 
There you go. Nice, Matthew. All right, Bola Citadel. What kind of... What do you got over there? That's one life. That's two life. That's the perfect card to hit. Wow, opponent's running. Running hot. Got to hit another land eventually, right? Oh. Huh. I guess there's some card that they couldn't really afford to cast. Oh, I should... I could add Let mana this time. I don't have another Nissa. Could add a mana first there. My bad. But that's still a draw 12. Put 12 into play. That's a way to thin the deck real quick like. And draw no 12 and put the them all into play. Like I do. Pretty good. Down to one. Should be a good way for us to finish the game off here. I was going towards Vivian Ultimate. I don't know if we need to destroy the Citadel. I don't know. Maybe I should have. We'll see. Attacking them for a bunch. They can't really pay life and play anything off the top. So, like, if they had Explore Creature in hand, you know, I guess they, they could go crazy. It's them to three. All right, we got there. Victory. Five and one. That's pretty sweet. That was a pretty convincing match against Soltai there. Game two, though, game two they mold to five. But the game one looked really good. And... Simic decks have, like, traditionally... So, like, the thing about, like, these kind of, like, big mana Simic decks, um, traditionally... By traditionally, I mean, like, last format. You know, when you play, like, all these Land of War Elves, Incubation Druid, your Explore Package, Krasis, but you don't have very much interaction for the opponent, and other aggro decks, like Mono mono White, even Mono Red, like, you know, you do have WoW Growth Walker, but that's not usually enough. Those decks were a problem. And this time, we saw... Hey, what's up, back here? We saw us beat to Mono White in one of those games. And, whoops. I don't know what I clicked, but I was trying to just get hype votes in the channel. Something came out, though. There we go. All back. We saw with those games that having Bioessence Hydra in our deck, while it's something that we board out a lot against, like, the mid-range and control after board whenever people have a lot of interaction, it really helps our aggro matchup because it's just so darn big. You know, you just... It was, like, a frequently 11-11. You know, you have your Hydra, you play a Kiora, it gets plus 7, plus 7, so it's just an 11-11 trample that you attack and you untap. You just end the games, like, really fast. You, you know, you can stabilize with it. It's just a big body. Really liked this card. Our one loss was there to Mono Blue in a couple of close games. I don't necessarily think our Mono Blue matchup is that bad. Game two, I kept a one lander because of how good our hand was on the draw. I guess I was on the play. Or was it game three on the draw? 
I don't remember. But kept a really nice one lander, but and we never drew a land. We just kind of needed one land. Hadana's climb would really would help out the Soul Tie matchup. I think one Hadana's climb could help out the Soul Tie matchup. But I don't think you really want or and or need Hadana's climb against Aggro because of Bio Essence Hydra. Like, I just don't think you need it. You don't really need it against Control at all. It's really like the the other green mid range matchup. That's where. Uh, like a green mid-range mirror, like against Sultai, or if this deck becomes popular, like in the mirror match, it would be really good. That's where you'd want Hadana's Climb. Hey, Zerf, doing good. Hey, Julian. So that's what... Yes, but, you know, I really liked Vivian. Uh, Kyoro's good. Nissa looked really impressive for us. Vivian's just always awesome. Yeah, our deck was really good. Um, I think the worst part about the deck is they still don't have a 3D art for Hinterland Harbor, so that's annoying. That's probably the worst part of the deck right now. Uh, Cyborg-wise, maybe we don't need all the Frilled Mystics. I, I, I do like Frilled Mystic, though, but we'll kind of keep on keep on playing here, see you know what needs to kind of change in our sideboard. But I definitely like all four Incubation Druids. That card was just an all-star. Uh, I kind of do want another e one of each of the Vivians. Both of them are so good. I kind of want three Vivian Champion of the Wilds and three Vivian Reeds. I could see cutting the two Kioras and going three and three Vivian Wise. I think that's one change that I could see going with the deck. Just, you know, not playing Kiora and playing the other Planeswalkers. That's that's probably something to do, um, honestly. Both the Vivians are just so good. Uh, let's see, we'll go back to the regular stream playlist here. But yeah, that's Simic Midrange. Um, yeah, we'll play this deck again here real soon in Ranked. Uh, you know, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, one of the two. Um, either tomorrow or the next day we'll play it again because, yeah, the deck was really impressive. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, uh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh